So now we're going to bathe our little friend here. She's ready for her sponge bath. Their umbilical cord usually falls off within one to two weeks. So the very first bath within the first 24 hours can be an immersion bath if you like, and we're more than happy to do it here in the nursery. Um, we could do it in your room, or some families are even requesting to do that first bath at home. So just let us know your wishes. For right now, we're gonna use the radiant warmer to keep her warm, and we're gonna give her a little sponge bath here so you know how to do that at home. So I like to keep the baby swaddled in this position, kind of like the football hold. And you wanna touch the water with your wrist and make sure that it's not too hot, but also not too cold. Nice and comfortable. These are the soft bristle brushes that we provide in the hospital. And you wanna make sure you take this home with you. It looks a little sharp, but it's actually very soft to the touch. It helps stimulate their scalp so they don't have any cradle cast, that dry, scaly scalp that they can sometimes have around a month or two old. I'm gonna test my water. So just make sure that you have everything nearby before you even start at home. You want your soap, your little hairbrush, some padded towels nearby, um, and some drying towels, their outfit, their jammies, and a washcloth. Okay, so my water's nice and warm. I'm gonna first start with her hair. And they usually like that warm water. You can use shampoo on their scalp. And just a nice circular motion will help prevent that cradle cap and get their hair really clean. Now babies only need, need bathed about every two to three days. Sometimes they need their face and hair done a little bit more frequently or their bottom if they've had a really dirty diaper. But any more frequently than that can really dry and irritate the skin. I like that warm water. And doing it up at your kitchen sink or the bathroom sink is a good level. That way you don't have to be kneeling over the bathtub. And you can really do a sponge bath for longer than the time that it takes the core to come off. It's a lot easier with babies. But they don't get too dirty. All right, so I dried her hair. Now I'm just gonna use warm water to wash her face. I'm gonna go inner to outer. Let me clean their eyes. Using a different part of the washcloth for each eye. Getting behind their ears, their mouth, and their neck. So very important to really make sure you clean underneath their neck folds, especially when they get bigger. So a lot of milk and spit up can kind of dribble down there. And sometimes babies can get rashes or some yeast under there. So really making sure you get kind of hyper extend their head, and get their neck really clean. Good job. All right. You want to work from head to toe. Once you wash their hair and their face, you can use your baby wash on the rest of them. Yeah, undo her arms. This is definitely a two person job in the beginning when you first start, because it's hard enough to hold a baby, but it's also very difficult to do it solo when you add water to that situation. So making sure you have help when you do this the first couple of times. Getting nice and clean. And get her back. And just remember, you're not hurting them. This is just how they communicate to us. And they're not familiar with a bath yet. So don't get nervous. Just take your time. It's a good time to talk to them. Um, really good bonding. It's a, it's a good bedtime routine if they enjoy their bath. And then you just want to dry as you go. 
So next I'm gonna do her arm, her legs, and then her back, and then I'll finish up with her diaper area.